Well, here I am down in the garden again. I did the beach yesterday, and I knew I had a few things to harvest down here, so I thought I'd better come down and get them. It looks like it's going to rain. So, these are, ooh, spiky. These are little eggplants, and some of them are a little on the small side, but there's something, I think I still am fighting flea beetles on my eggplants, so I went ahead and pulled all of them, even that little tiny one. And then I have these peppers. I've never had luck with growing peppers, and this is the first time I ever got, I don't know if they're black peppers or what they call them, the tags way underneath, I'll find out though. But the plant is actually leaning over from the weight of these peppers, so I cut them off. This is the yellow pepper that I've been waiting at least three weeks for it to turn yellow so I could pick it. And the same thing with this. This is also a sweet pepper. It is huge. Look at how big it is. And I've been waiting for that to turn red. And then I have um, a purple eggplant. And I think I'm going to be making some, some baba ganache. Or... So this is pretty good. Um, I'm really happy with this harvest. And then on top of that, um, I did cut all the dark peppers off. There's no more on there, um, but there are flowers. Well, it's a couple days later. Um, it started drizzling, and I just went in the house after I harvested those few things. Um, as you can see, there's another pepper that I just picked. It's, um, it's also a real good size, and there's, let's see you can see there's a bunch of them under there I mean, it's hard to see out here in the sun there's a bunch of them in there and uh, this is the plant that I got the yellow um, pepper off of and there's I don't know if you can see there's some other little peppers in there it's quite a lot of them and then over here these are where I got the purple peppers from and I don't see much else going on down there, but there are some blossoms in the top, if, if you can see them. So that's the pepper plants, and I'm not sure why they're doing so great, but um, we've had a lot of rain, and that's the only thing I can figure, really. Okay, that one, and that one, and that over there on the corner are... The Minnesota cantaloupes. Uh, we might get some. They have a lot of blossoms, but I'm not real sure because it's getting kind of hot and late in the year. And then this here, um, I think this is the Ukrainian cucumbers. The lady said they get real long. And uh, I got a little confused. I actually thought that they were the Bostons, but no, these here, that and that are the Bostons. So it's going to be interesting to see what I get off of these. But I'm going to treat them for some mildew and um, see if that will help them some. And then, oh, I, sorry, I just got to get that weed. I can't stand it. Right there is my pepperoncini, and over there is uh, what I think is the Ukrainian squash. Um, a blossom came up and it died, so now there's two more blossoms, so we'll see what happens. We're supposed to get some rain tonight. And then over here, this is the herb bed. That's my fever few and some sage, my sweet Annie that I love. That's a little eggplant, and that's a little eggplant. This here is the eggplant that those little white ones came off of. And I need to stake it up. And that one there is the purple eggplants. This is something that I am not sure what it is. Um, it almost looks related to hogweed or something. I don't know. This came with the free stuff and it was pot. And it is growing like a weed. So it has to either be a weed or it has to be um, some wild. Um, type herb. So if anybody knows what it is, 
can you let me know? Um, it's going to seed. This is the seed head. And it's taken over the bed. So if I can't find out what it is real soon, I'm going to have to yank it out so it doesn't take over everything. And then um, this here is my stevia. We got the Thai basil. That is, oh geez, that is feverfew. That's another Thai basil. This is my rosemary, which is supposed to be good for memory, and I sure hope so. Here's my lavender. Here's regular basil. This is uh, thyme right here. All oh, this is thyme. And then um, down in here, you can see there's some more eggplants there and over there. There's about four or five of them in there. But these are just, uh, the flea beetles have really taken over and I really need to get out here and spray at least once a week. But they're still making um, blossoms, so that's a good thing. All right, let's go somewhere else. All right, this is my onion bed and uh, they're doing pretty good. I've never been able to grow onions, so these are looking like they might be ready to pull soon. Um, some of them, uh, that one down there, it's getting pretty big. And these are the onions that I started from seed. I'm going to be thinning them and drying them and i um, hoping the other ones get a little bit bigger. And then right here is a, this is a heirloom tomato that was a volunteer. It would probably be a cherry tomato. Um, it's got some blossoms, so we're going to see what that gives us. And then I wanted to share with you, um, I don't want people to think that everything I plant works or comes up or is beautiful or perfect. This bed here, right there I planted some seeds of peas to test them out and none of them came up. And then the whole rest of this bed, this is one of those 18 by six foot beds. I planted corn and none of that came up. It was a Hopi corn that a friend of mine gave me and I was really wanting to get some seed but it didn't come up. Um, right here while we're here I'll show you one of the onions is making seed. They're so pretty. And then over here this is an 18 by 6 foot bed. Um, in here I planted gooseberries and nothing came up except weeds and then down here I planted some dill which is coming up I lost a few when I was pulling weeds but that whole bed didn't work and then over here I planted kohlrabi and as you can see I have a couple uh, but they're not doing real well I'm probably gonna have to replant in between those like there's a couple but it's been two weeks and they're really not very big but I just wanted to show you that everything I touch doesn't uh, turn into food <laughs> and then of course there is my carrot beds and right here is my beet beds and it's too hot today to plant so I'll probably get that done tomorrow the next day but I just wanted to share with you that um, Sometimes people only show um, the best of their best and I don't want to be like that. I want to be honest with everybody and let you know that, you know, I have issues too with bugs and fungus and plants. I don't know what they are um, as well as getting good harvest. So just keep trying. That's what I do. You know, this is three years in the first year I've got peppers, so same with eggplant. I never get eggplant either. So just keep planting and keep trying and eventually you'll find something that works for you and your soil and your area and um, it'll be well worth it. So it is very hot out here and I'm going to get my red pepper and go in the house. Um, I just wanted to share with you the good and the bad of my garden. And I would really like to thank you again for watching, and I hope everybody has a really great day. Bye.